Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. Today we are going to discuss another dis interesting topic from environmental sciences that is about the desert ecosystem. In our previous video we discussed about the grassland ecosystem. Next we move on to the desert ecosystem. So as I have discussed earlier, what is an ecosystem? Ecosystem is a combination of biotic components that refers to the living organisms and abiotic components that refer to the non-living organ organisms along with the environmental conditions. So again, the desert ecosystem is a very specialized sort of the ecosystem because it is also very largest ecosystem in the world. When we try to figure out the desert ecosystem, the very first thing which uh, strikes our mind is the dry nature of the deserts. While deserts are dry, they can be found all around the world. The largest desert is the Sahara deserts. So while we may think of a desert as a hot, dry piece of land, it can be cold as well. You will be surprised to know that deserts have the hottest temperatures in the daytime, but at the same time, they cool down very fast in the night. So they have an extreme range of temperature within a day. So this extreme uh, temperature range is the main cause of formation of the deserts. What is a desert? Desert is basically a weathering phenomena. When large rocks break down to finer particles because of this extreme temperature variation within a day. So regardless of the region, any re desert is usually very cold at the night. Somewhere it also goes down below the freezing point and receives very little rainfall. However, they do produce plants which have adapted to such living conditions. You will be surprised and amazed to know at the same time that even after having such an extreme weather conditions, some plants do survive over there. There are a lot of adaptations being found in the flora and fauna surviving into that region. The land seems to be dry enough, but even in such a harsh circumstances, you will find the presence of the plants. So, when we talk about the desert ecosystem, basically the desert ecosystem is divided into four parts. First is the coastal desert region. Second is the hot and dry desert region. Third is the cold desert region. And last one is the semi-arid deserts. So, you can understand from these terms, coastal deserts to the refers to the area which is located near the coastal parts. So, it is having some sort of the rainfall presence over it. When we talk about the hot and dry deserts, it refers to the extreme uh, where very little rainfall is being found out. Cold deserts refers to very cold places, harshest places. You will be amazed to know that even Antarctica is called as a desert. Why it is being called a desert? It is the coldest, windiest and the craziest desert being found over the earth. And there is also a term associated known as the semi-arid deserts. So now these kinds of the desert basically found some sort of the rainfall. Maybe 25 centimeters or maybe below 25 centimeters. Because they have the presence of the rainfall with them, they are, are the presence of these biotic forms. Which prevails after having a lot of adaptations, lot of challenges. So when we talk about the adaptations in the plants and animal life, the ecosystem is also influenced by the presence of the changes in the flora and fauna of the system. So the ecosystem is dependent upon the type of the desert. What kind of the desert? As I have told you, whether it lies into the coastal desert or very cold desert like Antarctica or like Sahara desert. So it depends on the type of the desert. The temperate deserts are also referred to as the cold dead deserts or hot or subtropical deserts. Hot deserts and cold deserts have different kinds of the ecosystem. You can understand the hot uh, temperature. Nothing can survive in a hot temperature. But even then, there are there are the presence of few uh, plants like succulents which survive into this kind of the. With, they have the very thorny structure out of these adaptations. So, however, despite being very different. The two kinds of the deserts have a few similarities. So here we are going to understand the similarities between very cold deserts like Antarctica and very hot deserts like Sahara. So let us try to figure. So there are similarities of the temperature, temperate and the subtropical deserts. Now both get a very few 
rainfall every year less than 10 inches so the dry is, air is being found in both the kinds of the biomes both have very harsh living conditions that impact people or the animal living over there plants have adapted to having less water and harsher temperatures so plants have uh, have such kind of the adaptations where they are, uh, are able to survive with the presence of very little water content now animals have also adapted at the same time to the conditions as far as energy food consumptions and when to get out and when to be active so in general deserts are made up of a number of abiotic components including sand the lack of the moisture and hot temperature so basically anything that makes up an ecosystem the doesn't isn't alive so both the type of the uh, adaptations have been made by the animals as well plants as well and the depending on the surrounding condition depending on the type of the desert so whenever you will be discussing about the characteristics of desert fly, uh, uh, fly, uh, figure out the image of a desert and figure out the image of the plants and try to correlate it with the climatic conditions such as the very little rainfall, very dry regions or very extreme temperature variations and the effects due to this, the sand is being formed. Now let us try to understand the biotic component or the plant life associated with the desert ecosystem since water is very important for everyone, everywhere and for everything to survive upon and it is of course extremely important again in the deserts because of the lack of the water plants have the major adaptations. You must have seen the thorny structures in the cactus why they the leaves are reduced to these thorns why so because the the, because of transpirations can be reduced so they have such kind of the adaptations being generated evolved over a period of time whereby the plant is able to survive with that thorny structure without the presence of water for many days it can survive such a harsh conditions now the seeds of annual plants stay torment until a time when there is an adequate rainfall available to support a young plant so the seed structures have been such adapted that they can survive prolonged absence of the rains. But once they get little access to the rain, they are able to bloom into a beautiful plant. Now cacti and other succulent plants store water in their spines which are residual leaves. So what are the spines? Spines are basically the residual leaves where the water is being stored. So the stem is where photosynthesis takes place actually. So you can understand these are the adaptations. The leaves are reduced to spines. The task which was carried out by the leaves has been taken up now by the stem where actual photosynthesis takes place and the stem has plenty uh, pleats that are able to expand fast when rain falls. So evergreens have weak cuticles and sunken stomata on shrubs that help hold water and prevent it from escaping. So as an example, the holy plant leaves are held at 70 degree angles. So, so the sun only hits its sides. When the sun sinks low in the sky, the entire leaf is exposed. A fine salt covering is on the leaves and that helps them to reflect the sun of the uh, excess sunlight from, of the plant. So when, when you are, uh, the adaptations have been made in such a way that the plants are able to survive in such a harsh condition. Now let us try to figure out the adaptations being formed in the animal life. Because of the entire process required to maintain life in the desert, the impact is that the size of the individual animal is limited. So the overall influence is falling on the size as well as the size of the animal population. Number of the population as well as the limitation of the size of the animal. The extremes of heat and aridity results in desert being one of the most fragile of the ecosystems of the world. Why it is being considered one because the extreme temperature variation between day and night is forcing the animals to have such kind of the adaptations like rodents, lizards, snakes. So large mammals like camels make their homes in the desert. Camel is the ship of the desert. Why it is known so? Because camel can only survive over there. It can uh, store water in its hump and it can survive for a prolonged period of the time. But no other animals like uh, so many animals we have discussed so far in other ecosystems like forest ecosystem or like grassland ecosystem are able to uh, live without water. So and they are suited to travel long periods of time without the presence of water. Lions live in the deserts of Africa. Although they are endangered due to the changing weather patterns and the presence of the human interference. Small rodents also find homes in the deserts with variations from garbage to hedgehogs. 
you will be amazed to see the structure of hedgehogs what what sort of amazing adaptation has been developed in such kind of the animals hedgehogs are a part of like they can survive in very arid land very dormant lands large hyenas and jackals are also found in the deserts so lizards and snakes are particularly suited to the dry hot climate of the desert as are amphibious creatures like a number of toads and salamanders you will be surprised you won't spot out the lizards in the winter but you are able to find ample of them in the summer because they have been adapted and suited to the dry and hot climate of hot climate of the summer uh, so i think i'm clear about what is basically the desert ecosystem what are the different types of the desert ecosystem what are the characteristics of the biotic and abiotic components of the uh, and what are the adaptations being found in the animal life and the plant life uh, thank you so much for watching my video please do like share and subscribe if you have any doubt or query please feel free to write in the comment box thank you so much